Hey everyone and welcome to the channel and today on the channel I'm going to be talking about a brand new horror anthology that will be premiering on Shudder on October 20th called VHS 99. Now I have never seen any of these VHS anthologies. I know they are really popular so stick around and find out what my thoughts are on this horror anthology. So essentially what VHS 99 actually is it's composed of a bunch of short stories. There are five short stories in this and they are all found footage. And the first one is called Shredding. It is about this punk rock group named Rack. They are just filming their antics and they're going to be filming a underground music video in this underground area, like a tunnel, I would say. And this actual punk rock group named Bitch Cat was actually trampled when there was a fire that broke out. For this one, I thought this one was okay. It was in the middle of the pack out of all five short films. I found myself not really liking the camera work as much with this one, and that's to be expected with found footage horror films, as they're not always the best. And I also found that some of the characters in this, they got on my nerves. I used to be in a band, and I can tell you I would not be hanging out with these groups of kids. They just seem like they really aren't that serious, and they're just trying to have fun and party and stuff. And that's really not what I would really be about. And in general, I think that this one is just okay for me. So it's in the middle of the pack. And out of all five films, I would rank this as the third best of the films. The second story is Suicide Bid. And this is essentially about a freshman Lily trying to join a sorority. So she is dared into being buried alive in a coffin. And it is going to be filled with spiders. And there is this legend that another girl actually did that. And the other group actually forgot about her and she was left dead after a week and I can say with this one I really did like the camera work with this one I thought that this one was one of the more scarier ones out of all the stories and I think in general this is a really scary thing just to be in a coffin very claustrophobic of course and of course adding spiders in that crawling over you when you're actually in this coffin I thought that it was very frightening and some of the actual imagery in this was very frightening as well and that's why this one is my second favorite out of the five. The third third story is called Ozzy's Dungeon and this one it's basically a game show and this guy named Ozzy he grants wishes and they go through this obstacle course and when someone actually gets injured they actually capture him later on and they are actually trying to torture him like they tortured this girl that actually got injured on the show and the show actually kind of reminds me a little bit of Legends of the Hidden Temple that was a 90s show on Nickelodeon kind of has that vibe a little bit to me. But this one was my least favorite. I just didn't find this one that intriguing. I just didn't really find in general that it was that scary. I really think that they really kidnapped him for ways that... I want to say it made sense, but at the same time, I just didn't really get behind the story that much. I didn't find it creepy in the slightest. And in general, I just thought that this was the weakest one out of all five. Camera work is fine. Acting work is fine. I just didn't really care for this story, and it really wasn't that much for me. The Gawkers is about these young boys. They are spying on this girl, and they get really obsessed with spying on this young girl, and they actually install spyware on her computer so they can watch her through the webcam, and she has this dark secret about her. I thought this one, it was the fourth best out of all of them. It's an intriguing enough story, but it wasn't one of my favorites. Camera work is fine in this. It has some scary imagery to it. The little boys are a little bit annoying, but that's to be expected at those young ages. And I think this is one of those stories that a lot of young boys they're trying to see what girls how their bodies are and such so I think this is a relatable one especially for younger boys so I could say with this one it isn't anything too too special but it does enough to really keep you intrigued and I didn't think it was bad or anything it's just the fourth best in my opinion the last story to hell and back now this one has Nate and Tony on the eve of Y2K they are actually hired by these cultists to actually film a ritual and when the spell backfires they go to hell and they have this woman named Mabel to actually help them through hell to fight off demons and underworld creatures and they have to find a way to get back to earth and I have to say this is my number one favorite I think this one is the most fleshed out I think it is the most scariest out of all the stories it just has really good visuals has really good camera work it has a lot of good practical effects as well and I really did enjoy the characters and I really did enjoy 
enjoyed the story. And I think this one may have been the longest one. I'm not sure if it was the longest actual story, but it actually felt that it was the most fleshed out out of all the stories. And it had a lot of meaning to it too. And I really thought that this one would be the best one if they actually made an actual full length film. I would actually be really intrigued to see a full length film of something like this. And also just read out the directors for each actual short story. You have Maggie Levin for Shredding. You have Johannes Roberts for Suicide Bid. You have Zoe Cooper for Ozzy's Dungeon. You have Tyler McIntyre for The Gawkers. And you have Vanessa Winter and Joseph Winter for To Hell and Back. And as far as my actual overall score for all these short stories and just the anthology in general, I would give a score of this a three and a half out of five. It was very enjoyable. I'm really glad I actually got a screener to watch this because I was kind of iffy actually watching these. I didn't really think I would really like these. It didn't seem like it would be my thing, but I actually enjoyed this for the most part. A couple stories that were a little bit weaker than others, but overall I really did enjoy my time watching this. And those are my thoughts about these short films. Let me know down in the comments what did you think about these short films. And thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you guys on my next review.